So that, uh, yeah, that red rum film I ordered from Cinecil finally came in. So welcome back guys. We have finally reached the 10K mark. So thank you everyone who has helped support this channel. Uh, if you're new, make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment if you have any questions. But now we're gonna, gonna go over what's coming up as far as videos go, as well as a few giveaways in order to thank you guys for uh, supporting this channel and getting to that 10K mark. Also in the description is my website where I have a bunch of film stuff that I'm selling and a bunch of stuff that I have to upload to sell on there as well. So be sure to check out the website if you're looking for anything uh, specific. You can also send me a message on Instagram, which I will also put below here. And then also, if you're curious what I use as far as film goes or my digital setup, I have affiliate links in the description. Again, those are affiliates, so they help me create these videos. So if you're curious what I'm using, you can check out those links and then I'll kind of show you what I use on a regular basis. So we're going to go over what's coming, what kind of cameras I've been shooting, what films and things I'll be reviewing, what we'll be going over, and then we'll go over the two giveaways and what you need to do to enter to win those. So first and foremost, what I've been shooting. Finally, I've got around to the Nikon S2. This has been sitting on my shelf for months now. Uh, I finally put a few rolls of film into it. This is not mine, unfortunately. This is a buddy of mine, Chris's. Uh, and so I put a few rolls of film through this. It's a phenomenal rangefinder. I have mixed feelings about it though, uh, which we will go over, but it's, I mean, it's just great. It's got a one-to-one -one viewfinder perfect for street stuff or anything. I can keep an eye on what's going on as well as compose with this other eye and never have to close to figure it out. I can see what's going to come into my frame and then make sure I capture it with the other one in the frame. Uh, it's got a phenomenal 50 mil 1.4 lens on it. That Zeiss mount It's just all in all a great camera. Shutter speeds up to a thousand. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of good things. It's just in great shape. If I remember correctly, he got this at a pawn shop for next to nothing. Excited to kind of go over that and show you uh, the results and what my thoughts are on that. Next up, similar, but also very different. Uh, the Kiev with the Jupiter 12 mil lens. I got a roll of film in here now. Uh, this, I mean, this is just very different from the Nikon S2. The viewfinder is nowhere near as big. Uh, definitely not one to one. The focus patch isn't bad. It's, it's pretty sharp. It's easy to pick out and easy to focus with. So that's nice because it's not anywhere near as big as the S2, um, but a very different setup for this. Of course, you got your meter, uh, the lens mount is different, all that stuff. And this Jupiter 12 mil lens is very interesting. I mean, take a look at this. If I pull this off, this always sketches me out because the lens goes way back into the camera there, which is just, it's just crazy. And there's nothing protecting that glass here. So you gotta be careful not to scratch it when you put it back into the lens because it goes way back in there. Actually, this lens, I mean, theoretically, I could and probably should have put this lens on the Nikon S2. That would have been interesting. Um, but yes, so I'm gonna be very careful when I put this back on because I don't wanna scratch that glass since there's nothing protecting it. But yeah, so the key with the Jupiter 12, I've been shooting this. Um, also interesting, similar to the contacts bodies, but also some quirks and kinks. I have a context over there on my desk that I need to play around with too. But so this is another little range finder we'll be going over at a different time. And then there is this funky camera. This is just something else. The Kiev 60, uh, this monstrosity of a camera with the, what is it again? With the RSAT 30 mil 3.5 lens. So that's a fisheye lens. It's like a 14, 12. I don't even know what, like doing the math is just another thing. It's a really wide angle lens. It's fisheye. I've always been a fan of shooting wide ever since I had the 5D Mark II and my 50 kind of died on me. I was shooting with the 24, I think, 24 to 8 for quite a while. And I just really love that perspective and that lens. Um, so I've always been a fan of the wide angle lens. But fisheye, I don't like fisheye. I put a roll through this with that fisheye lens and the results are great. I mean, the, the glass of this body is very good given its price point. You can get some great results. The cameras are just funky. Um, but I just try to create some depth and just do some do something. Um, and I just, I just couldn't. Everything's just so fisheye to me. I just, I couldn't get the results that I wanted. Uh, so for me, the fisheye lens personally is just not my thing. Nevertheless, great pictures, uh, great images that this thing can create. And these cameras are funky. It's based off the Pentacon system. It's a six by six. It's, you know, obviously a similar body to a Pentax 67. Of course, Pentax 67 being a six by seven, but it has a removable prism. Uh, it's a 
medium format TLR, medium format SLR. Uh, and it's just a very interesting camera. I've shot one before with the kit lens, which is like 85 mil lens. So a 50 and only one photo came out because the advanced level was broken, but it was a good photo. Uh, and I'll be sure to show you that one when we go over this camera again. And we'll talk about more on that when we get to that. We'll save that for another time. But then films, I have a lot of films that I need to go over as well. Uh, so we'll be going over, I got the Santa film. Of course, I got uh, red rum from Cinestill. I got my street candy. I got my easy 400. Uh, I got my palm film. A lot of films that I need to go over and kind of show you the results for too. So a lot of those as well. And then lastly, I'm gonna be doing more digital stuff. So I'm gonna be bringing over my vintage lenses and using them on my Fuji, kind of showing you different results as far as photo and video. Now, some of you might cringe and some of you might be upset with that, but for me, I want to get the most value for my dollar. I want to make sure I put my budget to use as best I can. And using these vintage lenses on newer cameras is going to be a great way to do that if you are on a budget. So we're going to start doing that, going over some tips, tricks, what lenses to look for, what maybe to look out for, and just kind of incorporating that into the digital film realm and system because I'm a hybrid shooter and I think it's something that uh, we could kind of go over more and dive into to kind of bring more interest into film photography in general uh, so that we save these lenses and these cameras, all that kind of stuff. So another big thing that I'm looking forward to kind of mixing into this channel as well. Now let's go over the two giveaways that I have and what you need to do to enter into win those. First of all, this one, I'm hoping I can put a roll through it before I have to ship it out. Uh, this is the Pentax Program Plus. This is a uh, SLR. This is kind of the upgraded version of the Pentax ME Super, which I have done a video on before. And despite having its quirks and the weird button system, I really like the Pentax glass. Uh, the ME line is very compact. This Program Plus also has that same body style, so it's compact. It's got the same button layout on top. Uh, very easy, very simple to use. Fully electronic, so unlike the ME Super, you don't get the one over 60th, I think it is, or maybe it's one over 125, mechanical shutter if your batteries die. If the batteries die on this, you're done. I have a friend who had one of these for quite a while. Uh, they're just really nice. Uh, I do, I do kind of like these. This camera was given to me under the condition that I would give it away on this channel, and that person wanted to remain anonymous. So I said, of course, because if I can give you guys a camera, um, I'm going to do so. So he sent me the camera. I put a lens on here that I had. It is a 28 mil 2.8. So there you go, wide angle lens. Great for street photos, great for a lot of stuff. I do really like the 24 to 28 focal length. Um, so this lens will do you very well. So that's giveaway number one. To enter into win these giveaways, I'm going to, where's my phone? So I'm gonna announce the winners for these giveaways a week from today. So today is October 22nd, as long as I do this on time. And then I'm gonna announce the winner next Friday, October 29th in a video. So if you don't watch that video next week, October 29th, uh, you're gonna miss it. And then I will have to end up giving it away to somebody else because I've had to do that already a few times. Uh, so make sure you come back next Friday to see if you were the winner. To enter and to win that camera and this other giveaway, you need to like this video and then comment 10K giveaway with whatever your favorite film is. So 10K giveaway and Cinestill Red Rum, whatever your favorite film is. I'm curious what you guys are shooting, what films you're using lately, what kind of is your favorite, whether it's, you know, Ektachrome or T-Max, Portra, you know, is the popular one. Uh, just kind of whatever you're shooting, what your favorite film is, I wanna know. So make sure you comment with 10K giveaway and your favorite film. And the next one we're gonna be giving away is Red Rum ISO 200 film from Cinestill. Uh, I bought an extra roll of this specifically to give to you guys. So you're welcome. Again, this is medium format 120 film. So if you don't shoot medium format 120 film, you're not gonna be able to fit this into this camera. So if you win and you don't have medium format, let me know, we'll work something else out. But this is gonna be the other giveaway is this roll of 120 red rum from Cinestill. So that's what's coming up. That's what we got going on. Those are the giveaways. Those are the things we're gonna be talking about in future videos. Thank you again for everyone who has helped so far and who subscribed to the channel. Again, if you're not, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video, and then comment down below uh, if you have any questions at all. So make sure you comment on this video, 10K giveaway and your favorite film. And then next Friday, we will announce the winners for the camera and the film, and I'll get those shipped out to you ASAP. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.